And now the swimmers coming out on the deck to be introduced for the finals of the women's 200 meter individual medley. Ariana Kukors, the reigning world champion, set the world and American record in Rome in 2009 when she won that race, 206.15, and was the fastest qualifier. In lane one, will compete in Shanghai later on this summer. Jasmine Toski out of Palo Alto won the 200 meters uh, butterfly earlier on in this Grand Prix. Whitney Myers had a fast swim team in Northern California will be in lane two. Caitlin Leverance saw her yesterday. She is uh, still celebrating and enjoying uh, her NCAA championship participation with the University of California. There is Kukors now 21 years of age. Fastest swimmer in the history of this event. Elizabeth Pelton out of North Baltimore will be in lane five, a personal best of 211.03. Compare that with Kukors, 206 and 15. Stina Gardell out of Sweden will be in lane six. Over 30 countries represented Rowdy over the weekend here in Ann Arbor, a huge Brazilian contingent. Annie Shu from Asphalt Green in New York will be in lane seven. And at the top of the pool, the final qualifier is Carolyn Wilson. Hi, I'm... There's there. Ariana Kukers right there, as you mentioned. Actually has the two fastest times in history. Tied, actually, for second with Stephanie Rice. She did that time, in, as you said, in the summer of 2009 during the studio. Not taking anything away from that time, but I, I wouldn't say she struggled last summer, but just it was a little bit off. I mean, she was four seconds slower last summer compared to 2009. Now, a lot of swimmers were four seconds slower, but, you know, uh, she was not the top-ranked swimmer in the world, but and actually in 2010. She slipped down to about seventh, actually seventh in the world last year, but has been swimming well of late. Elizabeth Pelton in lane five, very strong in the butterfly and backstroke, does turn first through the first lap. One length of the pool each for each discipline, butterfly now backstroke. Elizabeth Pelton out of North Baltimore currently in the lead, but right there is Ariana Kukors. Kukors in lane four, in lane five is Pelton. I like the way Kukors is looking in the 100 back, she went a best time. Um, the other night in the 100 backstroke, and boy, she has really improved. And that's probably her weakest stroke. I mean, maybe butterfly, but, but certainly her first half is, is the weakest. And as you can see, she hung right with Pelton. And Pelton is the backstroke specialist. That's her best stroke. Although it was only by five 100s, it was Kukors who turned first ahead of Pelton in lane five. So now starting to extend almost to a full body length lead is the world record holder and reigning world champion, Ariana Kukors. Yeah, and she was about a second faster than she went in the prelims. And, and knowing that she went 2.15, she's got a chance to actually crack now the top 10 in the world. 2.13.1 is 10th in the world so far this year. So she's going to have to get after this breaststroke right here. That's a good split right there. 38 flat on that breaststroke. And Leverin's making a move, obviously a great breaststroker. And she's right there with Kukors. Caitlin Leverance in lane three has taken over second place from Pelton, and but now in the middle of the pool. Kukors headed for home, fastest time in the world this year, 2.10.06. Kukors bringing it home in lane four. About 20 meters of the pool to go. Ariana Kukors, the world champion, the reigning world champion, will defend that title coming up in wow. Shanghai. 2.11.24, Kukors your winner. That's the sixth fastest time in the world so far this year. So a very strong swim. That, that's a heck of a swim right there. I, I, that, to me, anyway, maybe along with Vollmer's 100 fly the first day, that, that's the swim in the meet right now because that was, first of all, a little bit unexpected knowing that she went 215 in the, in the prelims. But to go to 11 and to crack the top 10 in the world like that, Paul, well, she's, she's not that far off from... Of, of being ranked first in the world. 210 flats first and 211.2, two, that's a good time. And Leverns was solid with a 212.8. Jack puts her in the top 10 in the world. And getting in for third was Jasmine Toski down in lane one. 
who will also compete for the United States in the World Championships, won the 200 meters butterfly. A look back at the backstroke portion of this IM. Yeah, we talked about that being her key leg, I think, going into this swim, and she has really improved on that. And boy, the United States is looking pretty in this event right now, anyway, and because you've got Cookers and Leverens are the two swimmers that will represent the United States in Shanghai. And to be able to move into the top 10 in the world, I know it doesn't seem like much to the outside or to the common fan might say, well, why aren't they ranked first? But knowing that our, the, some of them are ahead of them, swam rested and shaved, and these ladies are not, that's a really good swim for both Kukors and Leverens. So Ariana Kukors in 211.24 is your winner, followed by Leverens and Jasmine Toski down in lane one, comes in in third place. Ariana. Nicely, nicely done. Was Thank the, you. Was the backstroke leg the key, not only to the win, but also to the fine time? Yeah, definitely. Backstroke's always something I'm working on. I've been working on it, um, especially since August. It was kind of my weak stroke over the summer, so something that I'm continually working on and trying to get better at. Well, you, you look so smooth all the way through. Did you think you were going to be able to go that fast? That's a pretty quick time for, what, mid-April? <laughs> Thanks. I'm, I was kind of hoping for a 213, so I'm really pleasantly surprised oh, wow. with that. And, um, yeah, just, just ready, ready to get back into racing and trying to kind of get the wheels going again. Well, that's a super swim, Ariana. Congratulations. Thank you. Ariana Kukors, once again, your winner out of the fast swim team in Northern California and coached by John Urbanchek. Coming back with more from Ann Arbor.